Inex Adria Aviapromit Flight 1308 was a McDonnell Douglas MD-81 aircraft operating a Yugoslavian charter flight to the French island of Corsica. On 1 December 1981 the flight crashed on Corsica's Mont San Pietro, killing all 180 people on board. The crash was the deadliest and first major aviation accident involving a McDonnell Douglas MD-80. Topic: <inaudible> Preceding events. On October 22, 1981, Inex Adria sent a request to authorize the charter flight, which received the number JP-1308, from Ljubljana to Ajaxio and back, on 1 December of the same year. The flight was chartered by the Slovenian travel agency Compass, based in Ljubljana. The application term stated that Flight 1308 would use a McDonnell Douglas DC-9 aircraft with a seating capacity of 115 to 135. The permit was issued by the General Directorate of Civil Aviation on 16 November. However, the airline decided to not use the DC-9 and instead decided to use the McDonnell Douglas MD-81 as it was a newer and larger aircraft at the time. The application originally indicated the flight would carry 130 passengers, however, there were an additional 43 passengers on board who were Inex Adria employees, Compass tourists, and or their families which totaled up to 173 passengers. As the crew consisted of seven people, there were a total of 180 people on board. Topic aircraft The aircraft was a McDonnell Douglas MD-81 registered in Yugoslavia as U-ANA manufacturer's serial number 48047. The aircraft's first flight was 15 May 1981. The aircraft was delivered to Inex Adria on of August. The aircraft only had 683 flying hours at the time of the accident. The last a check on the aircraft was performed on 7 November 1981. The last maintenance test of the aircraft took place four days before the accident, on 27 November. The aircraft was powered by two Pratt and Whitney JT-8D217 turbojet engines, numbers P708403D and P708404D, each developing 20,850 pounds of thrust and having a total operating time of 683 hours, recorded since check A47. Topic. Kiru The captain was 55-year-old Ivan Kunovich. He received his pilot license on 16 April 1968 at the Yugoslav Academy of the Air Force and was qualified to fly the F-84, T-33 and F-86. Kunovic was hired by Inex Adria in 1970 and became a first officer on the DC-9 the same year. He then became a captain of the DC-9 on 4 April 1972 and then an MD-80 captain on 13 August 1981. At the time of the disaster, Kunovic had a total of 12,123 flight hours, including 5,675 hours on the DC 9 and 188 hours on the MD 81. The co pilot was 40 year old M. Frank Turglov. He received a pilot license on the 11th of November 1981 at the Air Club and was qualified for flights on the Piper PA31, PA34 and Cessna Citation 9. On the 21st of June 1981, he graduated to first officer on the MD81. 
Turglov had a total of 4,213 flight hours, including 746 hours on the DC-9 which were accumulated during 529 flights, and 288 hours on the MD-81. Topic. Accident Flight 1308 took off from Bernic Airport on a chartered flight from Slovenia at the time Yugoslavia to Corsica's capital city of Ajaxio with 173 Slovenian tourists and seven crew members. At 8.08, the airliner was in Italian airspace when the controller in Padua contacted a colleague in Ajaxio and requested the actual weather report. The southwest 240 degrees moderate wind was blowing at the airport at that time 10 knots 19 km per hour, 12 miles per hour, and the sky was covered with separate clouds. When the crew received weather reports, it decided to land on runway 03, while the captain clarified that if the wind increased, they would fly around for inspection. At 7.28 the plane entered the zone of the control center in Rome and the flight was cleared to descend to flight level FL 270 27,000 feet 8,200 meters. The crew clarified whether or not they were cleared descend. The controller told the crew that they were not cleared, and the crew acknowledged the transmission, thanking the controller. At 8.31, the controller again cleared flight 1308 to descend to FL 270, to which this time the crew confirmed, and reporting that they were leaving FL 330 and beginning to descend. The controller also clarified that the flight would be cleared permission to descend to FL 190 19,000 feet 5,800 meters after passing Elbe. The cockpit voice recorder CVR recorded a sound similar to the activation of the fasten seat belt sign and Captain Kunovich instructed First Officer Turglov to calculate the landing parameters. A flight attendant entered the cockpit and asked to reduce the temperature in the cabin, which the first officer did. At 8.33, the controller cleared flight 1308 to descend to tier 190 at Bastia. After rechecking the calculations, the commander and co-pilot, based on the adjusted mass and pressure, determined the approach speeds as 221, 170, 148 and 124 knots, 409, 315, 274 and 230 kilometers per hour, 254, 195, 170 and 140 42 miles per hour. At some point, First Officer Turglov let his young son enter the cockpit, as a child's voice was heard asking when the aircraft would descend. At 8.35, the crew entered the air traffic control space in Marseille and subsequently established radio contact at 8 hours 35 minutes and 50 seconds, reporting the passage of flight level FL 210 and descending to 190 in the direction of Ajaxio, after which he requested permission for a further reduction. In response, the controller instructed them to maintain FL 190 to Bastia and to squack 5200 on its transponder, since the direct route to Ajaxio slightly went through the closed LFR 65 airspace, and this maneuver would bypass it. At 8 hours 40 minutes and 35 seconds, the crew reported on staying at FL 190 50 miles from Ajaxio and again requested permission to descend, to which the controller cleared them to descend to FL 110 11,000 feet or 3,350 meters. Giving permission to descend, the controller used non-standard terminology cleared down 110 
to which the crew later discussed during negotiations in the cockpit. Then the crew studied the approach procedure for the course glide system on runway 03. In this process, during the preparatory preparation, the child intervened twice, who spoke about observing a mountain similar to Servin. According to the investigation, it was of the Monte Cinto array, focusing on the level of the airport, which is 52 feet 16 meters. The crew set the decision height to 643 feet 196 meters. At 8 hours 43 minutes and 57 seconds the captain reported reaching FL 110 at a distance of 28 miles and on a VOR Ajaxio. Further, at 8 hours 47 minutes and 10 seconds, the commander contacted the Ajaxio approach controller, who reported that Flight 1308 would be landing on runway 21, instructed to keep 110 on the VOR Ajaxio and passed the weather report, atmospheric pressure 1009, airfield pressure 1008, wind 280 degrees at 20 knots 37 km kilometers per hour 23 miles per hour when at 8 hours 49 minutes and 31 seconds captain kunovic reported on the vor flight at an altitude of 110 and was instructed to change the heading to 247 degrees and at 8 hours 49 minutes and 52 seconds to descend to fl 33 3300 feet 1000 meters although due to interference the crew heard the height as 3000 feet 910 meters. Due to the fact that there was no radar at the airport at that time, the controller determined the location of the aircraft only according to reports from the crews themselves. At 8 hours 50 minutes and 5 seconds the crew reported on the beginning of the decline. By that time, the instrument speed was reduced from 285 to 224 knots. When the airliner began to descend with a vertical speed of 2,200 feet (670 meters), and the instrumental speed increased to 256 knots (474 kilometers per hour, 295 miles per hour). At 8 hours 52 minutes and 15 seconds the crew reported passing FL 60 6, feet 1, meters and asked to turn on the radio beacon, which would be the flight's last transmission. At 8 hours 53 minutes and 8 seconds, the controller instructed the crew to correct the heading, but received no response. At 8 hours 53 minutes and 21 seconds, a four-second whistle sounded in the control room. The crew did not respond, starting from 8 hours 52 minutes and 43 seconds, the flight recorders recorded the aircraft flying above mountain peaks that were 1,000 and 2,500 feet tall, and from 8 hours 52 minutes and 26 seconds turbulent flows also began to appear and increased. Further, at 8 hours 53 minutes and 8 seconds, the aircraft's ground proximity warning system gave off several audio warnings, which the crew did not react to for approximately 10 seconds. Three seconds before impact, the crew increased engine power and attempted to climb, but were unable to clear the terrain. One of the aircraft's wings collided with the summit of Mont San Pietro and broke off. The aircraft then went into an uncontrolled dive and violently crashed on the other side of the mountain eight seconds later, killing everyone on board. The time of the accident was 8.53 a.m. local time 7.53 Coordinated Universal Time. Topic. Search At 9 a.m., seven minutes after losing contact with Flight 1308, an emergency search began. The controller mistakenly believed that Flight 1308 crashed at sea. 
Finally, at 1240, a wing fragment was found on the top of Mount San Pietro, 15 kilometers (9.3 miles) from the coast. The next day the rescuers reached the crash site, only to find that there were no survivors. Topic. Investigation The subsequent investigation into the disaster revealed that Control mistakenly believed that Flight 1308 was out of its holding pattern, believing it was already located over the sea, while in reality it was located 15 kilometers 9 miles inland, over the mountainous terrain of Corsica. The crew, apparently surprised at the instruction to descend, repeated several times that they were still in the holding pattern, which the control acknowledged. The crew was unfamiliar with the airport and its vicinity, as this was the first flight of Inex Adria Aviapermit to Corsica. The investigation determined that the imprecise language used by the crew of the MD-81 and the air traffic controller played a significant role in the accident. Air traffic control in Ajaxio was cleared of all charges. The air traffic controller in charge of Flight 1308 was transferred to another airport in France. At the time of the accident, the Ajaxio airport had no radar system. As a direct result of the accident, the equipment was upgraded and the approach pattern changed. Topic: 2008 cleanup operation. Some debris and human bodies were removed from the crash site after the accident in 1981. In 2007, Pop TV, a TV station in Slovenia, did a news report on the accident. They visited the crash site in Corsica and found many of the airplane's parts still scattered on Mont San Pietro in rugged and inaccessible terrain. Subsequently, the government of Slovenia, Adria Airways and Compass the Slovenian travel agency that organized the fatal trip in 1981 organized and funded a cleanup operation. A Slovenian team of about 60 soldiers, mountain rescuers, civil protection and rescue service members, medical personnel, and other volunteers removed about 27 tons of aircraft remains in May 2008. The removed debris included one aircraft engine and large wing parts. Some of the parts were so large they needed to be machine cut before transporting them from the mountain by a helicopter. Several human remains were also found, and were either sent for further identification tests, or were properly disposed. A commemorative plaque was installed at the site of the initial wing impact. <laughs> 